Hello there! I usually record the videos for YouTube on weekends, but this time I'll make an exception. Also, it's not really in my habit to make direct responses to videos that disturb me, so this is another exception. Without further ado, this is a reply to Fool for Lifetime, and I will put his link in the description box in case he forgets to approve my video. First of all, homosexuality is unnatural. We all know that. It's wrong, okay? It doesn't matter if you believe biblically that it's wrong. It doesn't matter if you believe that it's wrong for education. It doesn't matter if you believe that it's wrong for finance. Just look at the nature of it all. So homosexuality is unnatural. Then how come you find it all over nature, from butterflies to apes? Oh, but wait a minute. You do know that homosexuality is spread in nature because you go on to saying this. And for all of you people out there who want to argue with the animal kingdom, animals do homosexual things. There are certain species of animals. Well, first of all, most animals are stupid. Monkeys are the smartest animals we have, and we know how stupid they are. So if you're telling me that humans are as barbaric and as stupid as animals who eat their own young for survival sometimes, okay, come on, this is really retarded, it's unnatural, okay? Basically, what you're doing here is a big fat straw man. Nobody argues that animals are not stupid, because they are. And nobody said that we should do what animals do. But the point is this. Your statement that homosexuality is unnatural is false. You cannot call it unnatural as long as you can find it all over nature. It's just that simple. So let's move on. Secondly, it does make God mad. Whether you like to admit it or not, it does make God mad. Go read 1 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, verse 14, I believe it is, around there. Homosexuals shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. It says it clearly. Apostle Paul in uh, Romans, I believe it is. Man shall not lie with man. What is so hard to understand about that? It makes God mad, okay? For your point to be considered valid, first you have to do three things. First, you must prove that there is a God. Second, you have to prove that your God is the real God. Third, you have to prove that the Bible is the word of God. Yeah, I wish you all the luck in the world with that. Now, if you manage to do a miracle and prove all of these things, you are still left with the interpretation of the Bible. Yes, there are a few passages who condemn homosexuality. But there are also some passages that condemn touching the skin of unclean animals. Are you wearing any leather products? And what kind of leather is that? Do you play basketball? From what kind of leather is that ball made? I'm sorry to break this to you, but according to the Bible, this is an abomination. Do you know what else is an abomination in the Bible? For a woman to wear men's clothing. And since we are on this very lovely topic, I just want to make a quick note to you cup's brainwashed wife. Mmm, Caroline, honey? You know, you often dress like a dude. It's an abomination. But let's keep rolling. You know, it's genetic and it's not something you can help. Eh, no scientific proof that it's genetic. No scientific proof. Okay, the scientists have not yet agreed on the exact reasons that an individual develops homosexual, bisexual or heterosexual orientation. But they have agreed that we do not experience a sense of choice about our sexual orientation. How come you think that somebody would just choose to be gay? So it's like one day I just wake up and say, from this moment on I will be attracted to women. Because I want to be discriminated. I want to be deprived of civil rights. Just take in consideration the fact that there are homosexuals even in Muslim countries. Do you know what happens to gay people in those countries? You would be just thrilled. And yet, you still think it's their choice. Your mom had to lay down with your dad to come up with you, and now you're here. Heterosexuality is pro-life. Homosexuality is anti-life. What is so freaking hard about this, guys? Uh well, newsflash to you, pro-lifer. We are overpopulating the planet. So if you look at the problem from this point of view, heterosexuality is the most dangerous sexual orientation in our times. People, people should have the right to be with who they want to be, which is why we put rapists in jail for raping little kids, which is why we put molesters in jail for molesting little kids. I mean, hey, if the same sex is your thing and little kids is my thing, then fine, you know? How about it? Well, I'll tell you how about it. It's a little thing called consent. As a side note, there is something really disturbing that I noticed about people in my country. Even the most open-minded and intelligent people I know 
are still against homosexuality. So for you people who are watching me right now, I just want to tell you this. If you'll ever stand in front of me again and associate homosexuality, which is a consensual act between adults that do not harm anybody, with pedophilia or bestiality or any other form of abuse, I will spit you between your eyes. Cause I'm a lady like that. But let's go on. You know, should you be allowed to marry your mom? How about it? Should you, be, should you be allowed to marry your brother, your sister? Should you be able to have 10 wives? How about it? Well, let me put it this way. If you want to have 10 wives and those 10 women agree to marry you and share you, it's fine with me. I don't give a damn. As for the incest, there is a little problem there. I know there's a lot of you guys with common sense and level, you know, level heads on your shoulders and I'm urging you to keep the fight going. Thanks. Why is it so hard for you to understand that both heterosexual and homosexual behavior are normal aspects of human sexuality? Both have been documented in all the different cultures and historical times. Those convictions that you have are not justified by religion or by logic. You are just a homophobe. Your hypocrisy is much too obvious, especially when you preach about Jesus and love, while in the same time all you do is promoting hatred. On February 12th, an openly gay 15-year-old boy named Larry, who was an 8th grader in Oxnard, California, was murdered by a fellow 8th grader named Brandon. Larry was killed because he was gay.